All right, it's right after the holidays. It's cold out. Probably gonna break 70 today. And we're getting serious about doing some serious sheep's head fishing. See, I got this new fryer. It's a four gallon Bayou fryer. It's like the Cadillac of fryers. I need to put something in there. We've been seeing a lot of sheep's head. I've been thinking about the sheep's head. Now I got the fryer. So I called out the big gun to help me find some sheep's head. I got the real guy with me, Drew. You all know he's famous for catching sheep's head. Shark, land captaining, amongst other things. January, mullet situation is unbelievable. I mean, I haven't really had to work for mullet since August. It's better now than it was during the mullet run almost. So you think a pontoon boat? I think six guys. Yeah, I think if you, if you had the stomach, out on the pontoon boat, and you just motor electric motored around. And let them catch puffers and moonfish and just anchor up. I would just anchor up or use the electric motor, bounce around, yeah. and fish with live shrimps. Yeah. I think you could crush it. Hey guys, Captain Jeff. Please check out my new podcast called The Real Guy Podcast. You can get it on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you guys listen to your podcasts. Sheepshead? And I was like, oh. I was like, well, you've been seeing sheep's He's like, they're everywhere. And I've been seeing them too. So I went down there and walked along there for a few minutes today. And I didn't see Nan sheep said. You see it, yeah. But then I come and I got the tipsy out for the for a run. I checked every bridge on Las Olas. Then I checked all the dead end canals. And I run across a quad. There was four of them, two decent ones and two small ones. And those are right in Sunset Lake. And then I went home and checked like five more places on the way home. Yeah. And didn't see Nan, and that's when I called you. That's, uh, sounds like sheep's head fishing to me. We fish this on incoming tide, and we get our mullets out in the middle, and then the little tarpons just come and get them. Yeah, I think you crush it. Yeah, see that bridge right there? That's my secret bridge. There's a lot of sheep's head on that bridge. That's your sheep's head bridge? A lot of sheep's head on that bridge. Oh. Lagomar Bridge. Don't tell anybody though, alright? <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm really gonna break out the sheep's head gear. Like I'm getting all the stuff. Like what? Well, I'm gonna need your Fiddler crab rake. I'm gonna need a heavy duty garden hoe. And that's to scrape up the oysters and barnacles on the side of the... Then you're going to need a uh, brute tough trash can. Put all that stuff in so you can carry it with you. Does it have to be brute? And then, yeah. And then we'll get upwind and chum and then fish downwind. I used to do sheep's head seminars back in the old days. And I'm digging deep right now, Drew serious about this. Well, I'm glad you called because I can show you the spot. So, dude, just don't tell anybody about it, alright? Put my heart into this, man. I mean, I'm putting, I'm putting my heart into this, Drew. We're going to get the sheep set. We checked 25 spots today. We run across one quad of sheep's head. Two small ones, two big ones. That's it. My head's not down. I'm not gonna nick Saban on y'all. 
I'm gonna get me some sheep's head for the fryer. No, for sheep's head. For sheep's head. Yeah. Oh, so you're serious right now? <laughs> I'm gonna take the banshee out. Yeah. I'm gonna clean it up, take all the Christmas decorations off of it. All right. Charge up the troll motor. Nice. And then take the brute with the fiddlers and the oysters and the mussels and everything, put that inside the banshee. All right. And that way we can get around all these little sandbars and stuff. Stop the boat real quick. And uh, what'd you say the limit on the sheep's head were? 12? Uh, 15. You said 15. 15. I I, yeah, 15. 12 inches. 12 inches. So I figure, I don't know, to get that bench, you slap full of them things. 15 for you and 15 for me, that's 30 sheep's head. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. You know, there's there's some really, really good sheep's head fishermen around. It's just not a big Fort Lauderdale thing. Like that guy. Big sheep's head guy? Well, dude, it, it's like, they're almost like interbred sheep's head fishermen up there. It's like they've got a lot of sheep's head. They're netting them, they're seining them. They're not going like we are, sport fishing them. They're like really sheep's head dudes. All right. It's not for everybody. 